It has been what feels like forever since I tried out new makeup. So today we are taking a look at some brand new products from a brand called Cali Ray. They are a clean at Sephora brand. They launched in 2021 and they're coming out with their first complexion product. This is a skin tint. And we also have a lip gloss that is plumping. So we're gonna get into both of these today. I'm gonna let you know what I think and all the tea on the brand. As I mentioned, these are gonna be available at Sephora on January 20th. Basically, Cali Ray says they are California Beauty Unfiltered and they're supposed to be really clean, sustainable, and use recyclable packaging. The very first thing that we have is the Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. This comes in 10 shades. Not a ton of shades, but I know skin tints usually don't come in a lot of shades. So I have shade two, um, which says a very light dream, and shade four, which says a light dream. I believe these are the two lightest shades, as you can tell, fairly pale. Um, and it's supposed to be a lightweight tinted face elixir to minimize pores and imperfections, hydrate, blurs. It's supposed to be buildable and retails for $39. Let's get straight into it. I did just wash my face. I want to show you guys up close my skin texture really quick. I washed my face, so I have nothing on it right now. I want to test it out without anything underneath it. I have a little bit of self tan on if you can tell, but I'm going to try to use the lightest shade first. So I'm going to go with the two and it does say you can build it so we're gonna try to build up a little bit to get rid of some of my redness as well as the acne scars so when you open up the box here's what it looks like the packaging is really really cute it reminds me of like pink lemonade and this top screws off and we have a little dropper oh and product is already coming out i am gonna shake it up i think you're supposed to shake it it has like the little ball in here and then we will apply right away this definitely seems like a very loose product if you can see it is kind of already coming off there just right away when i opened that top boots is eating the packaging if you can hear her in the background i put a little bit on the back of my hand and we'll just take a look Ooh, that's actually really pretty. That has a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to ignore. Again, my bad self tan. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand. So actually really pretty. It blended in nicely and super easy. So I'm gonna try to do one side of my face with just my fingers and then the other side with a brush and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna just go and like drop on my... Um, good thing I'm wearing a nice sweater today. <laughs> This is so loose. Um, it's, I mean, it's all over. We need a second. So we are already off to a terrible start. I'm just gonna take my fingers here and rub this in. The color match looks pretty good right off the bat. I hope it does not stain my sweater, um, but that was probably my fault. You should probably just like drop it into your hand like a normal person would. Okay, so there is one side compared to the other side. It does not smell like anything, which is good. I do not like things when they have scents. So let's go ahead and do a little more. I will drop it onto my finger this time. It is just super, super loose. The texture of it almost reminds me of my favorite foundation from Lawless. So you can see there definitely is some coverage here and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to buff it in with my fingers. It did say it is buildable coverage, so we'll try to build some coverage up and see what we can do. That's actually so, so pretty. I'm surprised already by the results. This is with the skin tint, just with my fingers. This is with nothing. I would say it does definitely blur a little bit, and I think some of the redness on my cheek has been um, blurred a little bit, and here's what it looks like on my skin just trying to like blend it all evenly let's try to go ahead with a brush on the other side i just have a foundation brush this one's from merit beauty and i'm just gonna put some drops in here and turn this way and go right on this side right away definitely thicker more full coverage with the brush wow this applies so so beautifully. I, by the way, have normal to dry skin. I do not have oily skin. Um, so if you have oily skin, this might not be the best product because it definitely seems like it is moisturizing and not matte at all, but it really just depends on what kind of coverage and texture that you prefer. Okay, I'm liking this. Like, let's not jinx it or anything, but this is really, really cute looking already. I'm gonna go in and put some more on. I do feel like 
I don't know how much product I've used up. This is supposed to be one ounce, but I do feel like I have used already half this bottle because it is so, so small. So hopefully it will last a long time, but you kind of just have to wait to see that out. I don't think it's supposed to have a smell and it doesn't really have a smell, but it feels like fresh. Uh, I'm just going in with the brush all over now to try to build up the coverage a little bit. I am usually a beauty blender person, but the brush is actually applying really, really beautifully. You can definitely see some of the shine now coming across on my cheekbones. I'm not gonna set this. I just wanna see kind of how it performs. I wanna show you guys the shade four to see if we can see a big difference in the color. So this is one shade. Oh my God, this is so loose, but this is shade four and it's definitely a lot darker than the shade that I'm currently wearing. I could see how you could maybe get away with using it if you are like a few different shades. Um, there's it just blended into my hand but it definitely is substantially darker and more of like an olive tone from the one that I am wearing. This is what the shade range looks like right now. Again, like you'd have to see, I'm in two, this lightest one. So if you are much, much lighter than me, this will probably be a little like pinky on you. Um, and same thing, like some of these darker shades are very red looking. So you might have to go into Sephora and actually try it out to see what shade you would be. I'm gonna let this sit. And then let's talk about the gloss. I have two shades of this gloss here. This is called the Glazed and Infused Lip Plumper. Comes in six shades. It is a skincare level lip infusion. It's supposed to not be sticky and it retails for $19, which is expensive. These are the two shades I have here. We have Likely Story and Orchid Ranch. Orchid Ranch looks a little darker. Likely Story just looks a little pinkier. So let's take this one on out. This one is Likely Story. And it is really cute uh, green packaging and you can see the product through there. And then let's look at what the top looks like. A pretty standard lip gloss applicator. And you can see it right there. So let's go ahead and put this on. I have, oh, a lot more pigment than I thought it was gonna be. I've been really loving glosses lately, but I will say, I feel like most glosses are very similar. Like I would not pay $19 for a lip gloss unless it's, game changing but even then like i don't think so okay so it went on very very colorful but definitely as you like uh smear it out for lack of a better term it does get a little more transparent again not a huge scent it does remind me of like bubble gum like bazooka bubble gum or something but very very light here's what it looks like on the lips not giving me that like stinging plumping it says it's dual plump action through hydration boosting and lip enhancing ingredients um I don't know. I've been waiting for this fire truck to go by. I don't know if you can hear it and it just like keeps going. It won't stop. All right, I'm gonna just talk over it and hope you can't hear it in the video. So here are the six shades. They do look very similar. I'm wearing this one, Likely Story. Um, it's pretty, It feels good. It says it's not sticky, although it feels, it's not the stickiest, but it does feel somewhat sticky. It's still like a lip gloss. Now that I've opened it, I will use it. However, I probably would not go out and buy this. The skin tint is super beautiful. It's been sitting on my face a little bit. It does feel slightly wet. It's dried down a little bit, but definitely feels a little sticky feeling. I'm gonna try to go in and set it with a little bit of translucent powder. This is from One Size, and this is just their standard translucent powder. I am obsessed with this powder. It works wonders on every single foundation that I've ever used. So I am gonna try to set it. You probably don't have to, but I don't really like the feeling of my foundation or skin tint or whatever being wet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust some of this on to see what we can feel like. This is definitely an everyday um, sheer to maybe slightly light medium coverage. I'm not getting a lot of coverage from it, but it did cover up some of my red areas that I have on my cheeks. I think it's pretty though. Like if I was trying to not wear makeup as much or to just have a really light natural day, this would definitely be something that I would go for. The powder just applied beautifully. I think it did work really well with it. It is catching. It's catching a little bit on my forehead here. I'm making it slightly patchy. It's probably not meant to really be set, with anything. Okay, just as a few final thoughts, I know this probably was all over the place. I honestly don't know what to think about the skin tint. 
I really liked the product. It comes out and is a little too loose for me, but skin tints typically are pretty loose. It applied beautifully. It says it's a skin wellness diffusing tint and blurs, and I think it did that really, really well. So if you are looking for a skin tint, $39, Definitely up there in price a little bit, but I would recommend checking this one out if that's what you're looking for. I'm personally more of a wear nothing or full, full coverage girl, so I don't know how often I'll be reaching for this, but I will definitely update you guys. As far as the lip gloss goes, if you're not on a budget and want to ball out, it's pretty, it's nice, it's very sheer. It feels good on my lips. I'll probably use it again but it won't be like my everyday type thing. Have you guys heard of this brand? Have you tried this brand? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my beauty reviews. I also post things about fashion, wellness, fitness. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next review. Bye.